Live from New York, it's theCUBE. Covering Inforum 2016, brought to you by Infor. Now, here's your host, Dave Vellante. We're back. Dan Barnhart is here, he's the Director of Corporate Communications uh, at Infor, the man behind the scenes, you know. We had to drag you out, Dan, in front of the camera. Thanks so much, first of all, for having us here. This awesome set, great guests, and uh, how you feel? I feel great, it's been a great event. It's uh, our first time having it here in New York City, where our home base is. We moved here four years ago, and everything's grown. We've got almost 7,000 people here. We're excited to have theCUBE back with us and broadcasting live from Inforum. And you came up from Atlanta, Right? Moved, I did. Moved to New York City. I was based in Atlanta, went in for, was an Atlanta company, and then 2012 we moved to New York. I think Charles explained how we could get a lot of design talent that's here, a lot of new thinking towards user experience, and I was one of the people that relocated uh, to be based at headquarters. I'm thrilled. I mean, it's really been an amazing story, and I guess the thing that strikes me when we go to these conferences is the ability of a company to attract talent you know, sort of underscores, in my view anyway, its future, and it, and it looks like Infor has really been able to do that. I know a lot of that's Charles, but it's not just Charles. It's been the entire management team uh, that's understated, <clears throat> but also very well networked, you know? That's one of the things that's noticeable uh, at, at Infor. We've, when I started at the company six years ago, we had about 8,000 employees. Uh, this week we have 15,000 people, we've grown incredibly, and one of the things that's pervasive is everyone at the company fir firmly believes in our executives and in our strategy, and it makes it a great place to work. We're not just doing a job, we're doing something we really believe in. We believe that we're changing industries, and we're making commerce better, and uh, that's something to be proud of. So a year and a half ago, we were at New Orleans, um, great city, awesome jazz, Charles a jazz, jazz fan, it was kind of a, a cool theme. It was good, it was well attended. Now you're in New York City, attendance has exploded. You're in mid-July. Right. Right. You had fantastic attendance. Maroon 5 playing tonight, people are excited. So give us, break down the numbers for us. People are very excited about Maroon <laughs> yeah, 5 tonight. We had uh, 7,000 people here at Inforum, which is a lot of growth for us. We had uh, 40 exhibitors here in the hub. You can see all the action that's going on, which is a ton. Uh, 25 sponsors, including our diamond sponsor, HCL, our global cloud partner, AWS, Amazon Web Services. And uh, it's just been incredible to see the excitement and all the buzz, all the media that were here. We had 125 press and analysts join us for Inforum. A lot of news about h &L Digital and digital transformation uh, to come out of that. It's just been an overall very exciting event. Yeah, so Hook and Loop Digital, big announcement, that pointing that externally to customers. It's To me, it's the beginning of the I'll call it the platform play, but the reaching out to the ecosystem, not only partners, but customers, and, and innovators within your customer base to actually develop new capabilities, new function on top of the existing platform. That's got to be an exciting well, move. Definitely, well Hook and Loop uh, was a hugely differentiating thing for us when we created in 2012. Our customers were loving the interfaces, their users were loving it. They came to us wanting us to do more programs with them. Uh, we created Rhythm, which is our e-commerce platform, and we had a lot of customers using Hook and Loop as sort of strategy for that, and thought we should be doing more in digital transformation. We've got the underlying software and platforms, we've got the data and analytics, let's take H&L, and uh, branch into digital transformation. Our customers are really loving that. And then you guys have been acquisitive. We have. You know, right? You made an investment in Predictus, then an acquisition, another acquisition, a big, big announcement in retail, or not announcement, but big push in retail. So that's been a big theme of the show as it's, well. It's been a big theme. It's, it's an industry that hasn't seen innovation for decades uh, that we believe, so we are making a lot of play in retail. We've hired a lot of people. You know, our organization is now more than 600 people. We invested in Predictix in January. The investment went so well. The two teams worked so well together that it just made sense to bring them uh, to be a part of Infor. And then of course the IoT play, Infor IoT. We heard you know, that announcement yesterday. Uh, I mean, on the one hand, you got to have an IoT play today. It's just such a huge market, but you've got a unique approach there. Talk about that Definitely. a little Definitely. Well, most <laughs> of the conversation around IoT has been about devices. We're connecting this device and that device, and the devices are talking, but people are not talking that much about the devices who's listening. Yeah. And on the listening end is, is the software that Infor, that Infor has, including in facilities, uh, predictive maintenance is a huge area for IoT for us to make a big difference. Other highlights for you, other, other you know, buzz points at the show? 
Uh, we're, yeah. we're wrapping it up right now. That's frankly a highlight. We're uh, <laughs> yeah. finishing the day and about to go have a, have a margarita. It, and then eventually some sleep. In the next if one, of one of these days. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dan, thanks very much for helping me thank close. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate really it. Really appreciate it and, and appreciate you guys having us here. That's a wrap. Everybody want to thank Seth Amazing, you know, pictures, putting them out on the, on the web. Brendan, uh, Patrick, always great job. Leonard, you're awesome. Appreciate it. And uh, to our colleagues, John Furrier, uh, sending me all these great questions. Folks in our community, Kristen Nicole, covering all the live bloggers. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE. Go to siliconangle.tv. You'll see all the videos uh, from, from this week uh, at Infor. Check out you know, wikibon.com for all the research. Uh, 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 siliconangle.com has all the news. We're also, uh, two other shows this week, we're at AWS Summit in uh, Silicon Valley, and then we have the MIT Chief Data Officer Conference uh, tomorrow and the next day up in Cambridge, Massachusetts, so look for that. This is a wrap from Inforum 2016. This is theCUBE, we're out. I'm the Chief Financial Officer.